Well, my warm up, I usually take a sandwich. Um, I'm not concentrating on really where it's going um, or even really where I'm aiming. I'm just trying to get my body loose. Then start concentrating on aim, posture, and, and just everything else that attributes to a good golf shot. Once I've become loose, then I'll grab another club, usually eight or nine iron, and kind of go through the same thing. I'm taking a little bit longer club. Now I'm starting to pay a little more attention to where I'm aiming, going through my, my checks in my mind with um, what, what my swing's supposed to feel like. It actually feels all right. It always helps going to the gym. That, that gets me loose, um, but being, I guess golf loose is, is a different feeling. So, um, but keeping your muscles and your tendons and all the ligaments and everything else loose by going to the gym, that's a definite an aid in, in helping me. I get loose a lot faster. Plus the fact that it's 90 degrees out, it doesn't hurt, so. With a shorter club, wind's going left to right. I'll actually try and work the ball back into the wind. Um, so that's a, a little better control of your distance and a better control of your flight. I'll get my target, whether it's a pin or something, and I'll just aim a little right and hood the club face and just really just swing from inside to out. And that promotes a draw or, or, a, or at least hold shot when the wind's going that way and, and vice versa for if the wind were blowing the other way, I would aim right at it, but then open up the club face to something and, and hold it off. So it, basically you're just spinning the ball against the wind to hold it on, on line. If I'm aiming to hold it straight, I'm going to aim a little bit right, close the club face a little bit. And it's staying pretty straight instead of the wind taking it over to the right. I usually finish off by hitting a pitching wedge. I know if I'm swinging at really well, I can hit easy pitching wedges and hard pitching wedges and I know how to control and I know what I'm supposed to look for if they're high and low and everything else. That's my gauge on, on how I'm swinging at it is when I get finished with all that stuff and I go back to my pitching wedge, if I can control that, I, I'll, I'm usually all right.